Okay, so we've spoken about the resource. Now what I'd like you to do is to split into three groups and I've got three tables with activities on the tables. I'd like you to come up in your groups and look at the resources, see whether they'd be useful for you and your girls. Okay, so we've got the board and... We've got the instructions. We've got the dice. dice. What are we meant to do, Sabrina? So the trainer intended the learners to try the activity, but she did not state this, which left the learners confused. Okay, so we've spoken about the resource together. Now what I'd like you to do is to split into three groups and I've got three tables of activities. I'd really like you to come up in your groups and have a try of the activities. Oh great, so it's a game. Right, ball game. Okay, we've got done. This time, the trainer was clear that she wanted the learners to try out the activities for themselves. Ladies, in your teams, I'd like you to, with the equipment that we've provided, make ballistas and then see how far we can throw the balls. The trainer asks the learners to make a ballista. The learners don't know what this is and means they're confused about the task. Well ladies, I'm going to split you into two groups, You're like an observer in each group, and the rest of you are going to discuss a scenario where we've got young leaders in a district meeting and how we can bring them in to be engaged and share their ideas. Okay. Right, time's up ladies. Right, first of all, I'd like the observer to tell me what the roles people took in their discussions. This trainer has changed her instructions during the task, which has left this learner perplexed. Clear, concise and complete instructions are essential if your activities are to go well and achieve the learning outcomes you are aiming for.